Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it's the first Tuesday of the month, and you regulars know what that means. It is time for Unreal Engine Christmas in July. Yes, the first Tuesday of each month, Epic Games gives away a number of free assets for Unreal Engine developers, yours to keep forever, so long as you, air quotes, buy them before the first Tuesday of next month, and July selection uh, consists of five items. We are seeing item number one in action right now. This is the Mediterranean Coast. By the way, I cover this stuff every single month and a whole bunch more about game development, so if you're not already subscribed, do hit that subscribe button button if you want to stay up with the latest and greatest of game development news. So this one is pretty straightforward. It's um, it's an asset environment for creating this world. You'll notice it's procedurally driven. So we do have neat things like this uh, road segment being created with that spline controller going through the world. Again, we have trees. You'll notice those trees are ultimately animated. Let us go ahead and take a look at one of these in action, what you get here. So again, you got a variety of trees with animated factors, uh, so wind control and so on. Uh, we have animated water. We got a variety of rocks. We have some shrubs and other various shrubberies. Uh, we have uh, a number of different smaller trees and so on and then you see those world patches that were used for the road and then we have a bridge segment available here obviously a modular kit for creating mediterranean coast style environment by the way you can export these out and record them in other game engines i do have linked guides down below so that's item number one pretty straightforward item number two is equally straightforward this one is all about uh, magical effects so Niagara particle systems for a variety of different reasons. This first one here is magical explosions. So yeah, you see exactly what you see here. So this is basically a three in one pack. This one again is a number of particle systems for doing uh, magical style explosion effects in your world. The next one up we have is for magical auras, which could also be used for like sci-fi. So for example, here you'll see um, a magical barrier, uh, trials or Trails of Death, a Nature Aura, Meteor orbiting around something else like so. And then over here, a Magical Asteroid. We have a Lightning Field, Rings of Fire, Galactic Field, a Tsunami, and an Energy Shield. So like I said, you could use this in like a sci-fi type environment as well. And then finally, the same thing is true for the Shields. So this is a collection of Magical Shields. But again, they could be used in like, like, like around a planet or something to that effect. A variety of different special effects there as well. So different kinds of magical or sci-fi energy surrounding a surface, uh, and you can see them in action. So again, you got like plasma and fire and electrical and so on. Um, again, pretty straightforward asset, a collection of three different packs of VFX uh, for mostly magical style effects. Uh, and then we're getting into another one here. This one is the first one that has, um, oh no, this is one more biome. Uh, so come in here, we'll go check it out. There is a flaw with this one. If you're running Unreal Engine 5.3 or 5.4, I will show you one of the demo maps in just a second. That isn't going to work out ideally. Uh, as you can see here, it is a stylized environment uh, for creating five different biomes or five different packs in this particular asset. So if you want to create, you know, Zelda Breath of the Wild type environment, that is what this is doing. We have animation. Yeah, so animated grass effects. Again, it's that low poly uh, art style or yeah, I guess that's a fair way to sum it up. So you can see one of the environment packs. The next one up over here uh, is a, um, a different environment. So again, a bit of a forest like so. It's a little overly bloomed and saturated in my opinion, but again, low poly uh, stylized forest type environment. And then we're going to get to the broken one and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So depending on what version you're using, it may or may not be broken for you. But if you load it up and it looks a whole lot like this, this is a very consistent thing with Unreal Engine 5.3 and beyond. Let me know if you encounter it and if you know why the hell this keeps happening. But what I'm going to show you now is how to fix it. So if it shows up like this, what you do is go into your post-processing volume and you go to your exposure. You're going to notice for some strange reason, minimum and maximum brightness. These two right here are both set to minus one. And that's problematic. So basically, turn those both off and presto, your world environment is uh, done. So another, oops, hit the wrong key there. Another um, stylized biome environment. There's a total of five in this pack. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at the overview. But again, a reminder, if it is bloomed out for some reason, it is easily fixed in that post-processing volume uh, by setting your min and uh, maximum brightness under exposure to something other than minus one. I have a feeling it's a new setting that was added. And for some reason, when you import these things into uh, a future version, it just sets it to non-logical values. But that'd be my guess. But if you know the reason for sure let me know in the comments down below because i keep running into it here we go uh kind of an overview of the various different biome sets that are available here and the stuff that you're getting so if you're doing a stylized low poly environment and you need to create 
Uh, so we got like a forest, a meadow, um, just sort of trees and signs and so on. Again, pretty straightforward asset. Uh, so we got three content packs here. Uh, and then now we're going to get into the, um, you know, I guess we could say more interesting, but probably less eye candy stuff. Uh, this first one is a character controller. So this is the ultimate character, in fact. Uh, we'll go ahead and load up the uh, main menu here to start things off. And the easiest way to showcase this one is to actually run the demo. So this is uh, allows you to pick a variety of different characters. So here I could go ahead and select, um, we'll select this guy, space bar, and then hit enter to go into the world. And this is a character controller. So if you're doing things like shooting stuff, it handles that. But you'll notice here, it also can work on your uh, enemies. So these guys over here, I could click on this guy and I would spawn a new one. This guy has a punch attack. These two guys that are spawned over here have bombs that they will throw at me. So this is a character controller for both the guy that I'm running around with as well as the enemy NPCs like so. And this is entirely uh, blueprint driven. So you don't need to do any C++ work here at all. Uh, if you're wondering in terms of uh, what the controls and options are. You can see them over here. You'll notice there's an inventory system. You can do blocks and pickups and so on. So there's your various different controls for this. So your inventory gives you like a ring controller like this for your various different guns and so on. And then what you'll notice here, so I could go over here and spawn different kinds of characters. So I could add a simple boggy. You can see the different kinds of things that it does. So and spawn that into the world and a new one will be created and come after me uh, and then we also have a checkpoint system, so you can uh, reset the AI and so on, clicking the checkpoint. And you'll also notice if I come on down here to the end, uh, we've got a variety of different characters. So we can actually have swapped out and have different styles or controls. So let me just get by him. So here you can see I can switch over to Quang from Paragon as an example. So, oh, so sorry, we just spawned a couple of Quangs. So now we're going to be fighting Quang, but let's go, turn, go ahead and turn into him over here so boom we are now him and now it's attacks and blocks so different character controller different setups for them and then we're going to notice here so i go into the other room i can set up as a different person so now we're going to be we spawned a narbash over there from paragon and here you can see i could switch over and be him and have a completely different set of controls being done. So that's what this thing's done. The ultimate character controller ultimately controls um, your characters uh, and NPC controls. Uh, you got things like inventory, attacks, in, um, pickups, and so on. And again, you can switch between the various different kind of characters here. So here I could turn into a Wraith from Paragon and a different, uh, a different control set. So here you can see like I can throw bombs like so. Um, and yeah, that's it. There's all of the stuff that is being handled for doing this stuff is provided by the character controller. So this one is again, entirely blueprint driven. So no need to drop into C++. And then our final item in this month's giveaway is actually an Unreal Engine plugin. And you will find it here. You go into your plugins once you've installed it to the engine and you will find World Director Pro. So this is the last guy here. If you want to go ahead, once you've installed that guy, you can come on down here to the contents like so. You go over to your settings and you will find uh, if you turn on show plugin content, you can scroll on down into the plugins, go down to World Director Pro. There is a demo map that shows this guy in action and exactly what it does. And this is basically a pawn controller. So if you've got thousands of characters in your world, uh, it handles them. So you can see them in the background. Uh, so here we've got 660 NPCs running. Uh, but right now, since I can only see like 30 of them or 48 right now, only 48 are active or 50 like so. And then the rest are handled in the background. So this is a plugin that handles all of those things. Now, one of the things I found strange about this one is that uh, it's so the entire idea is so you could scale up the performance of having tons and tons and tons of NPCs in your world. It's done through three sets of controls. So your NPC path pro, your spawner for spawning a particular blueprint. So you can see uh, we've got uh, four different kind of array. We have an array of four different uh, blueprint characters to spawn into the world. And then we've got the director object for controlling all of it. Well, you'll find if you go down to the settings here, there is a second demo. So this uh, World Pro Roads demo, we'll let it finish calculating the nav meshes here. And then for some reason, and because the entire idea of this is to handle performance of all these background NPCs, well, what I find is this chugs. 
So it's not a good demo. I don't know if I ran it in a version other than 5.4, if it would work better, but I have to say in uh, 5.4, there's definitely an issue with this particular demo. Um, so, and, and we've definitely had a, a background pawn type controller in one of our previous months for sure, but uh, that's what that one is all about. So again, quick recap, we have the Mediterranean coast, uh, again, uh, environment procedural creation for creating these kind of environments. We have the magic uh, VFX bundle. This is a set of three different packs of special effects. Uh, then we've got the stylized landscape, five different biomes, low poly stylized. Um, and then we've got the ultimate character controller. This one is a blueprint driven character controller for both your uh, PCs and NPCs. Uh, no C++, no plugins. Uh, it's basically driven entirely using blueprints. Uh, and then we've got World Director Pro. This is a plugin uh, for the engine. Um, again, I don't know if it is a 5.4 issue with that one problem or not, uh, but let me know if you ran into any issues with it as well. So the way this works, basically, uh, once you've bought them, add them to your cart, check out. They are yours to keep forever, but these will only be available until the first Tuesday in August. Uh, again, you can get to them here. Go to free, free for the month. Uh, when you check this one out, ooh, uh, here we go. Uh, it should update because, ooh, that didn't work at all. Let's go back to free for the month. This is like the previous month. So when you go and look at this, it should be the new stuff that's available. Again, just come on in, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, check out, and they are uh, then yours forever. Even if you are not using Unreal Engine, definitely sign up, just hoard the stuff. You may use it later on, or perhaps you'll use it in a different engine, something to that effect. Let me know what you think of this month's free content, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.